Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video. And today we have another budget store find. This time it's the NFL Rush Zone board game. Bring home the Battle of the Gridiron. Includes all 32 NFL teams for ages 7 plus, 2 to 6 players. And it takes about 20 to 30 minutes to play this game. So as you can see, when I picked up this game, it was for $3.99 and 50% off. So I saw it and I said, you know what? I got to pick it up to try it out and see what it's all about. So let's flip this over and see what it has to say. NFL Rush Zone Board Game. Bring home the Battle of the Gridiron. Customize your board with interchangeable end zones and mega score footballs. Get ready for big time NFL action in a game for the whole family. Players split into teams and a coin flip starts the game. The offense rolls the dice to keep the drive alive while the defense tries to force a turnover. Suit up as your favorite team and pass, kick and score just like the pros. Call the right play to score the winning touchdown and keep track on the scorecard for bragging rights later. Over 120 game pieces, all the good stuff we're looking at right here. Got your contents. All 32 NFL teams are included. Check out the hit TV series NFL Rush Zone, Season of the Guardians, play games, watch videos, and more at NFLRush.com. All right. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what kind of goodness we have inside. Again, as I said before, it's for ages 7 plus, 2 to 6 players. It takes between 20 to 30 minutes to play the game. So we'll start off by looking at the rules. We got the table of contents. We got the setup here. Object score as many points as possible before the game is over at the end of the fourth quarter to win. You got the coin flip. You got the kickoff. You got touchback. Defensive stops. You got catch and run. Drive to the end zone. Fourth down. Going for it. Field goals. Punting. Scoring a touchdown. Trying for the two point conversion. Offense is higher or tie score. Defense is higher. Try is no good. End of the quarter, halftime, two-minute warning. You got scoring. Special rolls to keep help the, to keep the drive alive or stop the offense. There are a few big-time plays in your playbook. Offensive doubles, break the tackle. Offensive triples, long bomb. Defensive triples, fumble. If you roll four of those, winning the game. At the end of four quarters, the team with the most points is the winner. Overtime. If there's a tie, we're going to overtime. Overtime begins with a coin flip to determine which team plays offense first. Kickoff, same rules as above. And that's about it. It's an officially licensed product of the National Football League, all rights reserved. 2013 LF Products. For more information, go to toyislandus.com. So the first thing we're going to pull out here is the game board, which is pretty fun. Gives you your quick start guide right there. There you go. It says Rush Zone. Rush Zone. And here's your playbook. There's your actual field that you're playing on. Okay, let's turn it to this side. Again, same thing on this side. Quick start, quick start guides and all that stuff. So there's your game board. Very cool. Looks like a real football stadium, which is cool. You need a mover on, uh, so I'm going to show you a couple other things here real quick. So some fun things. You got your dice. Your D6s. And your two green D6s. dice there for you. So we've got some cool things to show you because this is a it's a cool looking game once you get it all set up. So you get your flip the coin heads and tails or that's heads and that's tails depending on the way you look at it.
you have your holders for your different teams helmets now you want to see something that looks pretty cool we can do this real quick make the table up so you put this guy down here like so all right we got that on one side put this in on the other side go stick that bad boy right in there like so do it lefty there you go got that in the dice are getting in the way and then we have our little markers on the sides our end zone markers so you can see it real quick just to enhance the board game uh, a little bit, just so you guys can kind of see how it looks when it's all set up. So you got your yard markers at the end there. So, you know, it's it's these little details that to a board game that actually, you know, and it just enhances the playing just a little bit. I mean, you know, playing a football game is one thing. You know, I'll say I've played this game before. It's it's actually very fun. Uh, a number of years ago, I actually played this game with my daughter for a Super Bowl game and actually predicted the, uh, which was kind of fun, it predicted the actual ending of the score um, of the actual game. So that's kind of fun, too. So there you go. Tell me that doesn't look cool. And then when your players are moving on the field, Bazal, there's your movement. There's your tracker for the game. That's fun. Again, you have your quarters to start off the game. You've got your rule book, which we can throw on the table so we can see that as well. Put that up top there. We got our dice. These are our movers. Oh, forgot to add something else to the board. You got half a football on one side, half a football on the other side. So we can connect this in here as well. Trying to get this thing in has always been a little tricky. There it goes. So you see that here. Put that in on the other side as well. So you kind of get that football field feel to it. It's not always the easiest thing to get in. So there you go. Put that down like that. So that's how it looks. I mean, if you put the field that way, looks like you're watching an actual NFL game, right? Pretty cool, not too bad. Again, throw this stuff out in the center there. You can see you got that, you got this, you got this. Throw this out there. Gives you a general gist of what's going on here. All right. Of course, you got your scoreboard. Front and back, so that's cool too. And you have your different teams. I'm not going to show you all of them, but you've got your players. So hold on. You've got your different players from the different teams. This is just an example of some of them. Okay. So we'll throw those guys out there too. So to use those, I'm not picking any particular team, so stick them in there like that. All right, there's your runner. You got some other ones out here. Of course, I'm a Chargers fan, so we'll use that guy as the example. Put him in there like that. And you're probably at home. I lost half the three quarters of the audience when I said I was a Chargers fan because everybody's like, oh, how can you be with that dreadful team? 40 years plus of misery. Anyway. So there's more stuff like that. And then you've got your 
football, as you could tell, you could pop this thing open. You could put, you could change the team logo in the football so you know which two teams are playing and who has the ball at what time. So that's cool too. Or you can do, it could be a Pro Bowl game. You know, it doesn't, you know, there's a whole bunch of different things. So you got that. Get more of them. Again, you have all 32 teams in there. I'm not going to go through them all, but there they are. And then you have one small football to go in the helmet for each player. And you got a whole bunch of those also. New Orleans Saints guy. That's the only problem with it is that it's only on one side. So I'm going to keep the side showing that's on. And you have all your helmets that you want to use. Put that on this side. So these are your helmets for your different teams. All the different logos are on them. If you want to do it, I can't, I can't find the other one, but if you want to do the Pro Bowl game, you got the Pro Bowl NFC versus AFC. Not that anybody really nowadays actually watches the Pro Bowl. But there you go. If you want to just use a regular football in there, throw that in there. So it's lots of different options you have there. And where it says the rush zone, you can actually put in. So if I want to pull that out again, so where I have the team, if I want to put my own logo of my team in there, I could do that too. Just take this out, take that out, and put this down. I got the Texans on this side. It's only on one side, so you got the Texans, you got the Giants, you got the Ravens, you got all of the teams. You got all the teams. You got all the teams here. There's your Chargers. Cardinals, you got everybody in here, Jaguars, Dolphins, all the different teams that you want. You have the Rush Zone, you could just put these in there if you're doing like a Pro Bowl game. Again, you have your Saints, Seahawks, Redskins, Raiders, Patriots. Now it wouldn't be, it would be, since it's an older game, it wouldn't be the LA, it wouldn't be the Oakland Raiders. It's going to be, uh, I mean, it wouldn't be the Las Vegas Raiders, it would be the Oakland Raiders. But we're, we're pretty recent. Of course, Redskins is not the term that's used any longer for that team. Um, if you want to do the Pro Bowl, you want to set it up, there you go. You got the Lions, Cowboys, Browns, Bengals, Panthers, Bills. You got all basically the teams that you want. And they're all right here. Some fell out already. Others are falling out. So there you go. Throw that on top of here also. So this is everything. Sandwich bags are not included when you purchase this game. But that is everything that's included in. And that concludes this unboxing of... My favorite football game, tabletop football game, which is NFL Rush Zone board game. All 32 NFL teams included. Bring home the Battle of the Gridiron for ages 7 plus, 2 to 6 players. Lasts between 20 to 30 minutes. It's an officially licensed product of the National Football League, all rights reserved. And it's brought to you by Toy Island. It was created in... in brought out in 2013. As always, thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing video. It is truly appreciated. If you enjoyed it, you can always give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Of course, you could always hit that subscribe button. This way you're kept up to date as to any time release any new content to the page. As always, thank you so much for joining me. Be safe, be well, enjoy the remainder of your day, and we'll catch you on the next unboxing video.